Hi and welcome to this week's uh, video analysis. This is for the week starting the 18th of February 2019. I'm going to start off with the dollar index um, and then break down the other currency pairs, just highlighting what we're seeing uh, for the week ahead. So we're starting off with the dollar index, the daily chart. We have posted a reversal candle, uh, a bearish outside day uh, on Friday. However, uh, the strength of this initial reco recovery is uh, is a bit of a, a concern and if we go to larger time frames this is a weekly chart I'm wondering whether or not we're actually going to make um, this level here which is 97.86 so at the moment there's a mild bearish bias but we really need to break down shorter time frames maybe look for uh, a head and shoulders uh, formation maybe the four hour chart <clears throat> really to uh, give this uh, this index a bit more of a bias at the moment it's very mixed indeed um, euro dollar we've broken out of this channel formation to the downside uh, could be seen as a flag pattern uh, the measured move target for the flag is around about 1.1165 the long-term bias opposite to the dollar obviously uh, is still to the upside we look like we're forming an ending wedge pattern. Uh, we've got trend line support at 1.1118. Um, one thing that should also be noted is that um, most formations have three points of contact. So we've got one, two, so we haven't actually made that third point of contact, uh, contact yet. So I think the intraday bias is still to the downside um, with a focus uh, to flip the bias basically in this range here um, to the upside we've got pretty decent resistance uh, this week at 113.45 again we've seen mixed volatile trading for the last five days really to get a decent reversal formation in here and again looking at the four hour chart if we post a, uh, a bullish reverse uh, head and shoulders pattern uh, then obviously uh, we'll look at this formation not to complete. Um, sterling dollar daily chart. We still believe we're forming a bullish head and shoulders pattern. We've got decent support um, at 127.65. Uh, I think we made an 85 low, was it last week? Let's just have a check. 127.73 so yeah about eight points off uh, where our bespoke support is at the moment again long-term bias we prefer to buy into this dip here um, intraday or at the beginning of next week uh, we've got resistance at 129.55 it's also close to this swing high so again breaking down shorter time frames are we going to see an inside pattern here uh, that would indicate that this base is now in place dollar swiss still grinding higher in this ending wedge formation the long-term bias is still to the break to the to the downside i keep an eye on this rsi level you know we were talking about free touches before sometimes happens um on the indicators as well so the rsi moving up to around about 59.50 and we might see a topping formation if not then again we've only hit this trend line twice so the scope to hit it three times 101.64 um, that sort of prime area to get short to the downside there is support this week at 99.32 again looking quite strong so I think we're going to be range bound uh, for the time being dollar yen we're still grinding higher in this uh, this channel formation um, we did see a strong flip to the downside on Thursday after uh, a lot weaker than expected retail sales from the US um, but then we've seen little in the way of follow through selling um, for dollar yen um, the immediate bias is to the downside but only if 110.47 holds on Monday um, otherwise it flips again uh, and we're looking to this area 161.8% um, also an area that's been quite pivotal so it was support will now become resistance and it's also <coughs> excuse me pretty close to the top of this channel formation so again sort of range bound I think buying dips or even buying a break at this 110.47 level um, early on next week dollar CAD again we're sort of in between support and resistance um, 
I think that dollar CAD is, or, or CAD in particular, if you're looking at Sterling CAD, uh, Euro CAD, I think they're looking like they're going to make some sort of basing formations. So even though the bias for the dollar or the long term bias for the dollar is to the downside, I think that we could see a stronger move still in dollar CAD to the upside. Um, as long as 132.85 holds early next week uh, then we, we we expect a deeper correction lower um, 131.80 is the previous swing low could form maybe a head and shoulders pattern reverse head and shoulders so left left shoulder um, head neckline here uh, and then down in the right shoulder there's monthly support at 131.56 if I see a dip down there um, we'll, we'll, we'll monitor price action for a move again to the upside so Really, the range uh, for this corrective move lower, I think, is here. And um, to the upside, uh, prime resistance at the beginning of next week is 132.85. Aussie dollar, really sort of not boring. None, none, none of the currency pairs are boring, but this sort of it's lacking real um, price action at the moment. You know, we're sort of getting a, a, a pretty prolonged period of consolidation, seven days, really where we've seen little in the way of net change. Um, we have broken the wedge formation to the downside. 71.65 is reverse trend line resistance. 71.67 is our bespoke resistance. So obviously we're still looking at selling into rallies, but only for a move down towards here, uh, which is around about 70, the figure. Euro sterling, I keep on going on about this one. I'm sort of desperate not desperate but looking for that move higher to sell into what I believe is going to be a long-term move to the downside um, next week we've got um, support at 86.97 but what we're looking for is to be able to sell into rallies around about 88.61 again impulse move to the downside five waves one two three four five this is a choppy move higher as far as I'm concerned um, one two three probably going to come lower in three waves and then perhaps higher in three waves but like i said as long as um this level holds this this month as well and we're only on uh, what the 18th of february um then the bias is is still going to be to the downside so short-term bias is to buy into dips around about 87 the figure uh, the long-term bias and hopefully for a really good move to the, to the downside is to sell into rallies about 88.61. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you have a good week, um, and we'll speak to you again soon. Many thanks.